Like the whole house smells like it. Let's fill it up. Here's the Valentine's pizza. Pick it up. so good. I just had to explain like the weekend. A busy weekend. Good morning. I was getting on here. It's 6.38 in the morning and this isn't normal. But the weather is weathering today. We slept with our windows open. Well, one window open. And the, it's so incredibly windy. Like my wind chimes are going nuts out there. But I'm awake early because today we've got a homeschool hub, but I've also got to um, put dinner in the crock pot. I'm making pork carnitas. Pork carnitas. And I need to get ready, like pack lunch and stuff like that. So. But anyway, I just want to get on here and start the vlog and say hey to you all and I'm feeling much better. Um, I don't know what my deal was yesterday, but I, I just, oh, I just was not feeling good at all. I know I'm kind of in the dark. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get on here later and chat. We just got back from homeschool hub and the carnitas are smelling amazing. Like the whole house smells like it. I'm so excited to eat that. Um, eat what? Carnitas. What is that? Tacos. Oh yay. So. How am I going to dance? Okay. I decided that we're going to go to the gym today. I'm going to drop Lennox off at dance. Um, by the way, stay tuned for tomorrow. We have a surprise. We're going to bin. So, we're not going to be filming inside. Because we no. don't want to get copyrighted. That's right. They do play music inside. Wait, um, oh, yeah. yeah, when you're walking around, they have they music. Only, you know what? They only but, made this song, Material Girl, by Madonna once. I've only heard oh. it once on a Wednesday. I'm in the mood to declutter something. I really want to make a box and donate it so we were talking about it at the homeschool hub today i was talking with some of the other moms and just talking about how like <sighs> my space is very cluttered say, therefore it's giving me anxiety we're gonna say something not even close to her name we're gonna say Lindsay. okay it's not her real name by the way okay who i don't know who you're talking about the my teacher my oh my recorder feature. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I really want to put together some things to donate. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm going to get a chewy box and we're going to do that. Yeah. Let's fill it up. Okay. I changed. I'm going to the gym. And sparkle muffins running, so that's why it's so loud. I'm getting ready to also take Lennox to dance first, and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym, to the new spot. <sighs> I wish that I could have done it earlier, but nobody was there to go. And I woke up and I was like, nah, no one's going. I'm not going. <laughs> anyway, um. I got a lot of stuff donated. I'm pretty happy about that. Well, as in, I put it in the box. When I go to get Sydney tonight, I think I'm going to drop it all off because it's in my way. I'm getting tired of looking at it. So I'm gonna do that. And then, you guys, I never updated you. I think the mouse issue has been resolved. Like. I've not seen any evidence of any mice in my house, in my pantry, anywhere. So I think we're good on that front. <clears throat> I was just looking around like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that we don't have that issue anymore. I feel like I should eat something before I go though. 
like maybe I'll have a granola bar. These granola bars are so sweet though. These are the ones that I got from Sam's Club and they're very, oh, very sweet to me. I'll still eat them, but they're very sweet to me. And I kind of want to have a chill night as in I want to do a little bit of work around the house. To me, that's, that's not chill actually for me, but I'm feeling so good about getting all those things into boxes and getting rid of them that I kind of want to do more now that I've got the momentum. I also wish I didn't have to go to dance in the gym, but it's okay. I'm doing it while I'm living life, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I think I want to do a little bit more. But getting the boxes out of here is going to be huge. And I've got a box to mail my best friend, so that'll be out of here as well. I already put up all the shoes. Now they could just stay like this. All the shoes are put up. This is mail. I actually need my gym bag. And this is donation, and that's trash. And here's the box I'm filling up. We're, we're doing good, guys. Doing good. It's a mess, as you can see. I'm waiting on Sparkle Muffin to do his job. <sighs> and Bun Bun's not happy about it, but I gotta. I mean, I'm one person. I just had Lennox clean Bun Bun's space though, and I gave him five bucks. I'm getting ready to eat my dinner and I wanted to say that the pork carnitas that I put in the crock pot I haven't bit into it yet but it smelled amazing when we got home from our homeschool meetup the kids were like is that ramen no it's pork carnitas and it's Tuesday so of course we got to do tacos I ran out of sour cream unfortunately but I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I also didn't make any salsa. I like to make my own salsa for taco night. It's fine. I'm gonna eat it like this. But I do want to say something for um, to end my Tuesday vlogging experience. Um, I went to the gym. You know, my gym has moved, so it's got it like a it's got a new location, and I was there this weekend helping set up, I was painting, moving equipment, um, helping where I could. And now she's like, she got up to speed with business. It like lagged 0%. She was ready to go with Monday being the first day working out, having a class in that gym. So it's pretty awesome. I like hugged her tonight and I was like, you guys, you're, you are doing so great. I'm so proud of you. Anyway, going to the gym, being in that space, having a big class was like what I needed. I know I said I wanted to kind of do something different. I feel like sometimes I want to do something different with, with working out, but CrossFit is like so quick. And I like that it's such a community aspect. To, there's such a community aspect to it. Like we're all suffering together. <laughs> and we got it done so quick. I couldn't make it yesterday. I felt really bad. Like I had mentioned this, I felt really bad yesterday. And this morning I was gonna go, but then I checked my messages and like nobody was gonna be opening the gym. Anyway, I was like, I'm going this afternoon. And I did, I'm so proud of myself. But I felt really good after that workout. My mind is so clear. I feel like the busyness in my mind has just kind of quieted and I don't know I feel like it just gave me a clear head 
plus you know I worked out so I'm gonna be sore tomorrow but I was really proud of myself for going and I'm you know I the only goal the only real goal I have this year is for fitness and I didn't even touch on this because I didn't share my undecorating video but it's fine maybe I should I don't know but I I just want to move and I feel like that goal will change as I keep doing it so from just wanting to move will turn into okay I'm gonna you know make it every day okay the next goal the next milestone my personal milestone is gonna be like I don't know lifting heavier but those milestones turn into like my body changing instead of having a weight goal instead of having you know a size goal I just want to move and I want that to have a domino effect and I want it to progress into other things like I want that goal to be pushed further I want to set I want to create new goals every time I've done that so I just want to get to the gym at least three times a week okay we're gonna start there I'm going to progress from there so three hours three days a week will progress into the next level of maybe I go five days a week I want to get into a routine and I want to feel this clarity because that's what I'm feeling right now and it feels good and I want that I want more of it oh boy it's cold am I recording yes I'm getting ready to go get an oil change it is Thursday we had a very nice Valentine's Day very nice I treated the kids to heart-shaped biscuits from Bojangles and we had ice cream at a new place if you're following me on snapchat and Facebook I posted it there they had flights of ice cream that was a nice feature because I only wanted a little bit but I also wanted to try other flavors so I loved that and then we got a heart-shaped pizza from Papa John's which I haven't had Papa John's in years it was okay it was more the fact that it was in a heart shape and then Danny came home with crumble cookies for me because I'm his valentine. Now I gotta do the dreaded work of getting an oil change. Sydney needs to get her dress. We gotta pick that up. Need to get a birthday gift for a girl that likes to bake. So we might be going to Michael's or TJ Maxx and putting together a little gift basket. And the girls are going to her party tomorrow, a sleepover. And then Saturday we're doing cake pop class. I'd already signed up for it, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. But today, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the oil change as soon as my car truck heats up, because it's cold. And then I need to go and do our bills for our budget, so I gotta do that too. See, my coffee is steaming. This is pretty much my Yeedy now. I love my new Yeedy. Though I wish Danny could find the the lid to it that would be nice hi good morning still Thursday <clears throat> things just got a little bit more complicated for me my family's coming into town that's not the complicated part I feel very overwhelmed like a lot of things were just thrown at me <laughs> I gotta get my house ready and I'm trying to buy things on Facebook marketplace which takes coordinating and planning and I need to go pick up Sydney's dress. We need to get a birthday gift and I'm just like getting that like I'm feeling torn in like five different directions right now. So I came upstairs to calm down a little bit. Just have a moment. I'm also trying to figure out what we're gonna do this weekend. We've got a pub crawl for Valentine's Day happening. It's a Cupid crawl tomorrow, Saturday. My sister and my mom don't drink, but I still want them to come and see the pub. My niece is coming as well. I signed her up for one of the classes the kids are doing, but had I known, I wouldn't have like let the kids make plans this weekend, but they did. I mean, I made I helped them make plans this weekend. Anyway, um, I'm just up here having a moment. <laughs> A little bit of a moment. I hope that it's a good weekend for them. But doing things last minute, I don't work well with that. I'm just like, ah, I feel a 
like pull to rush to get things ready. But it was last minute. <sighs> anyway, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm waiting on someone to answer me about a specific thing I asked him about. I want to buy a snowboard bag for Addy. But like, bottom line is I just got things. There are things happening right now. Today is just kind of crazy. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all that I need to do. I was on the phone for like an hour and a half with one of my good friends here. Holy moly, I just need to breathe. I almost walked out and went for a walk. That's how, that's how it is for me right now. Needless to say, I don't think this medication is working for me. This is from a couple days ago. <laughs> Her new board. It's heavy too. It, what if it's like too big? It's not too big. I'm about it's to so see. pretty. Uh, kind of yellow though. <laughs> yeah, there's your stomp pad. I'm about to it's a nail flower. this. Oh, look at that. That's your stomp pad. You'll learn. Happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My AirPod. Happy Friday, everyone. It's 6.44 in the morning. I just got back from my workout and my family is arriving today. It's exciting. I don't know what time though. They may have taken a break because I texted and I didn't get a response yet. They're gonna be here soon. Only three of them, unfortunately. Anyway, my house is a mess. I'm gonna try to sort it all out before they get here, but if they arrive and it's messy, it is what it is. I don't know what we've got planned for today. I got my workout done at least, and then we'll figure out what happens next. Stay tuned, because my family's gonna be here this weekend, probably in this vlog. I took my family on a tour downtown. Then we went grocery shopping to pick up items to be able to cook dinner on Friday night. Okay, where, where I'm gonna work? Right where you're standing. She's figuring out her workspace now to get busy. What you making, Mom? She's currently kneading her dough for the show pow. The what? See, she is not measuring. All right. We have our first subdivision being built. Put the difference in Alright. Ooh. Whatever left over, save it for April. Oh my god, it's awesome. What's funny is she thought there would be some leftovers to this sauce, but there wasn't. We needed more. You do like this? You have a sweet sauce. Like it? Okay. I am watching. She wanted me to make sure I was able to document her making this recipe. So I can oh, it's a quarter cup? Um, she was supposed to be going to Okay, you do like this in Mexico. Right. She always goes here. Nice. Oh, well, okay. Not kids, so we've got to celebrate. Cold. With friends that were. I use, at home, I weigh everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In pins. All the way. Yeah, you pick it up. Yeah. Do it. It's like a dumpling. You steam it now for him. This is the show pal being steamed in my wok, which my mom came up with this idea and it worked. So looks like it runs in the family. <laughs> Her dough overflowed in the bowl. Ooh, I like your color. 
color. <laughs> Documenting. Nope, nope. <laughs> she kind of pulled into the bushes, so it was funny. <laughs> Today is a wonderful day. <laughs> Hi guys. Tell me about your experience in uh, the Filipino twist. Good. Um, hi, my name is Lennox and um you're watching Disney Channel. What had happened in here? Mom cleaned? We are here in Yaya's kitchen and making food for the pub. I'm right here. And Yaya is teaching us how to make show pow. And we've got let's let's come over here and look at what we got. I am making chicken asado. Chicken asado. For show pow. And here is the That is the show pow doll. Why is so My mini mics arrived this morning. So we're making I'm trying them out while my mom cooks, and I just said that these mics would have been helpful while my mom was making food on Friday night so I could hear what she was saying while I was recording. What I didn't realize is the mic that I have in my hand is not really working, and you can only hear what my mom is saying. Cornstarch. Cornstarch, yeah, she had to correct me once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that my mom is testing out some recipes on some people at the pub. We volunteer to cook for the pub crawl tonight. Surprise! Um, mom's making uh, no, she's making chicken asada. I put a mic on her and she doesn't talk. She corrected her. Cornstarch. What are we doing now, Mom? I'm thickening the cornstarch for, I mean, the chicken asado for, that way it's thicker. It's not running. Her mic is coming in so clear, and I really don't know what the deal is with my own mic, which is really unfortunate. I'm going to have to figure out what the deal is, maybe test it out, maybe I accidentally hit the on off button i'm not sure but my mom sounds great on the mic what <laughs> hey Lizzo. i'm right here <laughs> Awesome, my 
your friend up brown. Fast forward to the pub later on that evening. Anyway, it's cold. I know. You gotta exercise. Start running around. Get it, Sydney. Get it. <laughs> Says more lights required. <laughs> okay, then this one you thing you put in a little plate with the uh, salt. <laughs> was a success. I think everyone had a really good time. I don't even think I, like, I haven't caught you guys up on anything. It's just been a whirlwind of a weekend, and I'm still hanging on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get you guys caught up. But first I gotta feed this bunny and make some coffee. <laughs> I look so tired, so I'm matching what I'm feeling inside right now. I'm very, it's been nonstop. It's been nonstop. Right now I gotta get focused on making the coffee and I don't know, I don't know. It's been like a good weekend, but it's been like so incredibly busy. Like I haven't even had time to like answer my best friend. I know that sounds really weird, but I feel like when I'm with my mom and my family, I'm like pulled in many directions. And, yeah, I'm, like, yeah. Oh, I like it. That's right. Whenever I see you, you stole my heart. What is it that you do? Life was great till you added color. Monday. I am starting a new video, but I'm editing right now and I wanted to fill you guys in on my weekend. My mom and sister surprised me on Thursday morning and they're like, my sister said, what's the weather like down there? I told her that I'm just wearing a hoodie and pants. You know, it's not too bad. And then she says, good, because we're coming down. What? And they left Thursday night they drove down here. They arrived Friday morning and it was a whirlwind of a weekend. It was so crazy. My mom cooked on Friday, which you've already seen. And <clears throat> we cooked on Saturday. We did a lot of cooking on Friday night. Well, mostly my mom. She wanted to make these Korean wings and they were so good. And so I wrote down the recipe for the sauce, kind of. Getting recipes from my mom is like pulling teeth. I don't ever get the full recipe because there are no measurements. It's just a taste as you go. And granted, everyone's taste is different. Even my taste has changed over the years. So we'll see how it goes when I, when I attempt it. And then she also made, what did she make? Oh, shopao which you've seen. They're like dumplings that fit in the size of your hand. They're like the size of your hand. And I got the recipe for that. Well, she told me to Google it, but I, I watched her on how to make it, so I think I can replicate it. The craziest thing that happened, do I wanna put this out there? Yeah, I will, because it's public knowledge. But anyway, we had a pub crawl event 
on Saturday at the pub. If you're new here, my husband and I, along with four other couples, mostly the guys, I'm just lumped in because I'm married to my husband, but they own a pub. They started this pub, <clears throat> an Irish pub. And it's been going really well. They hold events just like Saturday. It was called the Cupid's Crawl and you would get this bingo sheet, sort of, sort of like bingo, and you have to get stamps. You gotta do all these things and get like stamps. And if you get a row of stamps, then that's your bingo. And you go back and get a prize. We had a food truck. Now, when I say we, I just mean like I'm by proxy, I'm part of it, but I didn't have anything to do with the planning or anything, just to make that clear. So they had a food truck planned to arrive at some point on Saturday and be the food for the evening. They canceled. We found out on Friday that they canceled. And so we couldn't, we, they weren't able to get another food truck. And Saturday morning after I took the kids to the cake pop making event, I was kind of joking with my mom and I, we were talking about, you know, it's too bad you didn't already have a restaurant. And I can't remember the exact words I used. I said, you know, because the, they haven't gotten, they haven't got a replacement food truck for Saturday for the pub crawl. And she's like, well, we can do it. I'm like, what? Do what? <laughs> so fast forward, here I am grabbing all of the ingredients to make lumpia, which is an egg roll and uh, more shoe pow. And we miraculously pulled this out of our asses she cooked up a bunch of stuff we rolled the lumpia when i say she cooked up a bunch of stuff i mean she like doubled her recipe and was able to make a decent amount so that we could hand it out but because of legal things it was more of like a volunteer effort like we couldn't charge for the food we just had to give out well, we called it samples. We were giving out samples. And so we were in the back of the pub outside. It was cold as hell. Back of the pub outside, just handing out samples to anyone in the pub who wanted one. It was a hit. A lot of people were very interested. And my mom kept telling them, the restaurant's coming soon because this isn't common knowledge. But my mom wants to move down here eventually and open up a restaurant. And hopefully this was a big enough push for her to make that move. And I'm sure she will do really well here with all of our help. Anyway, that was wild. I can't even believe that we did that. It was a lot of fun. And I think my mom was just tickled that, you know, she got such good feedback. There was nothing negative besides one negative person that we ran into. She was just, she didn't even matter. But the rest of the night was just like, people were thrilled to have it. <laughs> so Sunday they left, like Sunday around lunchtime, probably one in the afternoon, they took off. And um, we always hate when we've got to say goodbye. I'm just gonna throw this out into the universe. One day they'll just be leaving my house and going around the corner to their house, so. We just need them to move down here and then we can all be in the same neighborhood and we don't have to say goodbye and we don't have to go without months without seeing them. So, oh yeah, so if you don't know, my family lives in Ohio and I live down here in North Carolina and we just take turns driving back and forth to see each other and that's just how it's been. Ever since I got in the military, I've not lived in Ohio since I was 19, and that's that's what I've had to do. Drive back and forth. Fly back and forth. <sighs> yeah, but the weekend was great. I mean, we all had a lot of fun. I don't think I rested at all. Like, I slept, but I, like, didn't rest. You know what I mean? Like, the difference... I don't even know if my mom knows how to rest. She's just, like, busy, busy, busy. At least what typically happens when we're all together is she's cooking something we're cooking something and we're eating and yeah that's how it goes but i liked that she was able to be a part of the pub festivities and see how it works and that was great i was happy to show them the pub show them what we've been busy doing down here <laughs> anyway so this 
part. I know it's Monday, but I just I just had to explain like the weekend. It was just just a busy weekend, but it was a fun weekend. I, I feel like it was even productive in a sense. I'm gonna end this weekly video so that I can start a new one and I will see you in the new one. Bye. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold